feel like you're losing gunfights even when your aim is dead on? It might not be your skills. It could be input lag. Small system level delays can add up, ruining responsiveness and game feel. In this video, we'll cover six powerful tweaks, from network settings to system latency fixes, to reduce input lag, boost responsiveness, and give you a competitive edge. All manual, fully reversible, and no third-party tools needed. Tweak 1. Disable Interrupt Moderation, NIC Latency Fix. Interrupt moderation is a hidden feature in your network adapter settings that groups packets together before sending them to your system. This can save CPU cycles, but it adds latency. Bad news for online gaming. Disabling it can reduce input delay, especially in Twitch-based games. How to do it? Right-click Start, Device Manager. Expand Network Adapters. Right-click your Ethernet device, not Wi-Fi. Properties. Go to the Advanced tab. Scroll and find Interrupt Moderation. Set it to Disabled. Also find Interrupt Moderation Rate and set it to Off, if available. Extra tip. Keep Receive Side Scaling enabled. It helps distribute network load across CPU cores. Disabling this setting reduces the delay between your system receiving data and reacting to it. The result? Faster feedback in online shooters, racing games, and competitive titles. Tweak 2. Adjust Transmit Receive Buffers, or NIC Buffer Tuning. This tweak fine-tunes how much network data your system queues before processing. By default, your system may use large buffers, prioritizing bandwidth over responsiveness. For gaming, we want smaller buffers for quicker reaction times. Steps Stay in Device Manager, expand Network Adapters, right-click your active adapter, then select Properties. Go to the Advanced tab. Scroll down the list of properties and look for Receive Buffers and Transmit Buffers. Reduce both values from their defaults, often 512 or higher, down to 128 or 256. Click OK to apply. You might briefly lose connection as it resets. Important: Make note of original values before changing in case you need to revert. Test different values like 64, 128, or 256 in-game. Monitor ping and packet loss using a tool like NetGraph in CSGO or Resource Monitor in CSGO. Some adapters require a reboot after changing these settings. If unsure, restart to lock it in. Not all adapters name these settings the same. If you don't see them, check for similar terms like receive side scaling or large send off load and adjust accordingly. Why this matters? A smaller buffer means your system responds to incoming data faster, which can slightly reduce ping and desync issues. It's a great pair with tweak number one. Bonus, if you stream or transfer large files, this might slightly reduce throughput, but for pure gaming, it's a win. Tweak 3. Disable Naggles Algorithm Registry TCP Latency Fix Naggles Algorithm is meant to optimize bandwidth by grouping small packets into larger ones. Great for efficiency, terrible for latency. We want to disable it to improve responsiveness in TCP-based games, like MMOs or certain shooters. Steps. Press Win plus R, type Reg Edit, and press Enter. Navigate to. You'll see several long alphanumeric keys. These represent different network adapters. Open Command Prompt, type ipconfig slash all, and look for your IPv4 address. Match that IP to the DHCP IP address value inside one of the registry P's to find the correct interface. Once you're inside the right interface key, right-click in the right-hand pane, New, DWORD 32-bit value. Create these three entries. TCP ACK frequency equals 1, TCP no delay equals 1. TCP del ACK ticks equals 0. If any of these already exist, double-click and update the value instead of creating a new one. 
close registry editor. Optional, restart your PC or disable enable your network adapter to apply the changes. Want to test the impact? Try online games before and after. Look for reduced input delay or more consistent latency. Explanation. TCP ACT frequency tells Windows to acknowledge every packet immediately instead of batching. TCP no delay forces instant sending of small TCP packets. TCP del ACK ticks equals zero removes extra delay on delayed ACKs. This tweak is especially noticeable in games like World of Warcraft, RuneScape, or anything using TCP over UDP, improving snappiness and reducing micro lag in combat or movement. Tweak 4. Disable Memory Compression – System Lag Fix Windows 10 and 11 use memory compression to reduce RAM usage by compressing memory pages in the background. While helpful for multitasking, this can create sudden CPU usage spikes and input stutters in games. Disabling it lets your memory run unfiltered, improving consistency and responsiveness during gameplay. Steps. Press Start, then type PowerShell. Right-click Windows PowerShell and select Run as Administrator. In the PowerShell window, type the following exactly. Disable MMAgent-MC. Then press Enter. It will silently apply. Now restart your PC to finalize the change. After reboot, open PowerShell admin again and run get mm agent. Look for the line memory compression is false. This confirms the tweak is active. Optional tip, you can also monitor task manager, performance, memory tab, before and after, look for the compressed value disappearing. Tweak five. Set Low Input Latency Timer Resolution CMD method. Windows uses a dynamic timer tick to schedule CPU tasks. For normal use, this is fine, but for gaming, you want high-frequency polling. This tweak locks your system to a consistent timer interval, improving responsiveness. How to apply it? Open CMD as administrator. Enter the following commands. BCD edit slash set use platform tick yes bcd edit slash set disable dynamic tick yes reboot your pc why this works use platform tick yes forces a consistent cpu timer disable dynamic tick yes disables the feature that allows windows to skip ticks these two together make your system more responsive to rapid input changes you'll feel the difference in competitive games where every frame matters. Advanced users, you can test timer resolution using a third-party app like Timer Tool or Timer Resolution to see it in action. Tweak 6. Disable NTFS Last Access Timestamp Boost Disk Performance. By default, Windows updates a last access timestamp every time you open a file or folder. This tiny write operation happens constantly, especially during gaming, and can lead to unnecessary disk usage and stutters on older or slower drives. Let's disable it for better I.O. efficiency. Option 1. Use Command Prompt. Press Start, type CMD, then right-click and run as administrator. Paste this command. Hit Enter. You should see disable last access equals one. Reboot your PC to apply changes. This stops Windows from writing metadata every time a file is opened, freeing up disk and CPU cycles. Option two, registry method, advanced. Navigate to find or create the dwart NTFS disable last access update equals one. Undo. To re-enable timestamp updates, type this command in CMD admin. FSUTIL behavior set 
disable last access zero. Why it helps? Disabling these write logs reduces disk thrashing and improves file access speed, particularly helpful on HDDs or heavily used SSDs during gaming or streaming. These six tweaks target every layer of input lag, from your network adapter, to your memory subsystem, to background services that shouldn't be there in the first place. Apply them carefully, test your favorite games, and let us know what made the biggest difference for you. Like, comment, and subscribe for more deep dive optimizations. Until next time, keep your latency low and your frame rate high.